Have you ever had those phases in life where things just constantly seem to be going downhill? Where it's almost like one bad thing leads to the next. Hi again. You might have also noticed when this has happened that you get very demotivated. You kind of get a bit lazy and you can't be bothered to do the things that you know you should be doing. Uh, what usually happens is you might even get a little bit depressed and you start to kind of stagnate in this, this kind of unmotivated limbo until a, a sort of tipping point starts to happen. And when this tipping point happens, if we don't manage to shift our focus, we might accidentally find ourselves never getting out of the rut that we're in. Because when we're going through that rough patch, we kind of, it's almost like we expect the bad things to keep happening. And even when that tipping point occurs and there's like a, 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 a turn of good events, good fortune that comes into our life, we can't kind of shift our focus away from the bad stuff. We, 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 we tend to, we can't help but expect more of the bad stuff. So what I wanted to do in today's video is to try and shift your focus away from those bad things when that tipping point happens. When good things come along in our life, I want you to be able to put your focus on that to encourage more of that desired effect. And uh, it's going to be a little bit deep, so you might want to get a pen to make notes. And let's get into it. All right, now for me personally, I really believe that we get what we think about in life. I've made other videos about this topic. Uh, I'll leave links in the description so you can check them out if you want to. But it stands to reason that the more you win at life, the more you believe you can win at life. This is because when we get a little win in life, we get a reference experience that tells us, yes, we deserve good things to happen to us. And the more they start to happen to us, the more this kind of upward spiral begins to happen. It's like a domino effect. Every time we get a win, it's another confirmation experience that we are a winner. And the more that we subconsciously expect to see more of it. And this then affects our behavior. We walk different because our psychology is intertwined with our thoughts and how we feel about ourselves, your vocal tone changes, and other little slight subtle communication changes too. I believe that this happens on both a micro level and a macro level, so uh, let me explain what I mean by that. Let's say that I'm a door-to-door -door salesman and the first house that I knock at, I get a sale. When I go to the next house, my emotional state is going to be pumped a little higher, and that next potential customer is going to feel that and it becomes more likely I'll get another sale, which would then boost my state even further. And again, it means I'm more likely to get more sales. Having a really positive emotional state is something sales executives are well aware of. Uh, I used to have a, a job selling two and a half thousand dollar vacuum cleaners. Two and a half thousand dollars, you think, who the hell would pay for that? But because sales executives know how to manipulate salespeople into having a really high positive vibe that people can then feed off, you'd be surprised that people actually will pay that for a vacuum cleaner. I mean, I decided to give up on that job after two weeks uh, for other reasons I'll get into in a second, but it wasn't because of the product itself. The product was actually a really good vacuum cleaner, which it should be for that price. I mean, these vacuum cleaners even have a one horsepower engine and pretty much move by themselves. But the problem with the job for me was I simply didn't enjoy the feeling of trying to sell people something that I knew deep down they didn't really need. <laughs> now, I did actually manage to sell one of these vacuum cleaners in the two weeks that I was there. But the reason that I'm bringing this up is because my boss would have us come into the office on a morning and he would pump us up as much as he could. And he did that by getting us to all sing a song together. He knew and he understood the power of going out to sell something with a positive mindset. He knew that by getting those little wins, that upward spiral would continue. It didn't have to be selling a vacuum cleaner. It could be getting new leads or having a good interaction with a customer. Anything that reinforced that positive mindset and doing it on a daily basis. Like I said, it's the same on a macro level. Let's say that you're a guy that's never felt comfortable around beautiful women, but you educate yourself and you apply what you learn. Eventually what will happen is you'll start to have multiple dates every month and when you're having multiple dates every month you're getting all of those reference experiences and the more times those dates result in success the more you'll feel at ease and after a year or two it won't even register in your mind. 
because the intimidation that you felt before has slowly been vanquished by repeatedly shaping your perception over time. Do you see what I mean by this? Those reference experiences are changing your reality into the way you want it to be. Now then, there's something I wanna add here that I often talk about on this channel, and that something is visualization. You see, the brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. So by you visualizing yourself achieving the life you want, it's much more likely to happen than if you were to just remain focused on when bad things happen. Through visualization, first thing in the morning, you're training your RES, your reticular activation system in your mind. You're training it to seek out new opportunities that align with the life that you want. I'll also leave a couple of links in the description to some of my other videos about this if you want to check them out. Now, another thing that I wanna point out in this video is that if you set your expectations too high, you're just gonna kind of overwhelm yourself. So if you're someone that's like living in your mum's basement and you're playing video games and watching porn every day, but you think that in a year's time, you're gonna have a six figure salary or earning six figures through some other means and you're gonna be dating a beautiful woman or multiple beautiful women, then that's not very realistic and it's probably not gonna happen. So if that's what you start setting your sights on, it's you're kind of gonna set yourself up to fail because you're just gonna start losing belief in yourself so quickly because it's so unrealistic. And before you know it, you're going to be back watching porn and playing video games again. And by the way, it's not that I have anything against video games. I think video games are great in moderation. Uh, I just think that imagine if you went through your life over the next 10 years playing video games almost every day instead of actually getting out there and creating an amazing life. What's that going to feel like after 10 years? How are you going to feel about yourself after those 10 years looking back? Wouldn't you like to feel like you really made the most of that 10 years by, by getting out there and really enjoying and experiencing life. Life's an amazing, beautiful thing. Don't squander it by living the fake life of an avatar in a pretend world. It will never be as rich and fulfilling as the real world can be. So instead, start small, celebrate those little wins, even if it's just making your bed each morning or eating one piece of fruit or one piece of veg every day. Like I said at the start, get those little wins and get that upward spiral moving and maintain your visualization. If you can do this in a few years from now, you'll look back and you'll see how far you've come and you'll be astounded that your life is so drastically different. I can give you a great example of this, in fact, by showing you this channel right here. Because like you might be right now, I was pretty delusional when I started my YouTube channel. I thought that after the first year, I would have 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> but in reality, I had 83, 83. So from then on, I was just like, right, I'm gonna stay out of the results. I'm just gonna focus on the process, enjoy the creative process of making videos. And when I did that, those little wins of completing a video and seeing slight improvements each time is what had that compounding effect. And now, two years after the end of that first year, I've got 100 times that many subscribers. But that's not even the best part. It's the person that I've become along the way because when you're making something for free that adds value to people's lives and could even potentially change their lives in a big way, it nourishes your soul. It, it feeds into that winning mentality. Do you see what I'm saying here? I hope this has helped. Uh, if it has, drop a like. And, uh, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would love you to do that. And hopefully I will see you in the video tomorrow. Ciao.